The first two battle pets I want to show you are from the Encourage raid. The first badass pet that I want to show you is the Mini Mind Slayer, who has a 17% chance to drop from Encourage, and we also have the Nubasoth Idol, who has an 18% chance to drop. They're both on the, the lower end of the drop rates, but you still do have a chance. So if you don't know where Encourage is, it's in Kalimdor on the bottom left hand corner. And once you click on the map there, exactly where I'm standing is where the entrance to the raid is. So I'm standing at the very entrance of the Ankaraj raid. I just want to show you how quick it is to get to the very first boss, the so-called Prophet Skaram. And that's because he's the one that drops the mini mind slayer with a 17% chance drop rate. As you can see here within like 10 seconds, I'm already in his range. You can see him standing on his platform and he is basically a spitting image of the mini mind slayer except just a different color variation. And of course at level 110, this is really simple to do. And as you can see, it was very quick. Didn't take much time for me to get to Skaram over here. I do already have two pets. I believe there's a maximum of three. And I was thinking if I got any extra cool pets on this run, maybe I'll do a giveaway, give it to some people out there who don't have it. Cause you know, the chances are kind of low. So it'd be pretty cool if I could give you some of these pets. So the Nubasath Idol is actually based upon the Nubasath Sentinel. So that's just a bigger look of it, just to show you how badass he looks. But he does not drop off from the Sentinels. He actually drops from the Twin Emperors in the raid. And you'll see this with the Eye of Cthulhu right in the middle and you'll see the twin emperor standing there now this is really simple it just takes a little bit more time because uh, these bosses are you know two before Cthulhu, so they're kind of knee deep in the raid you just have to take your time going through the raid which can take a while you have to mount up and go through the whole raid but it's not that bad and one thing to note is that the loot is actually split between the two brothers here so make sure that you loot each body so you can get the full loot table and everything. Now he does not drop here for us in this video unfortunately. It would be cool if I got a, another one because I do have three of these so I can actually give away one if you guys are interested in that. But yeah that is all for the Encourage one. There are a bunch more but these are the two that I wanted to show you and the two that I actually have from this raid. So as you can see from the map here. Uh, you'll first kill the royalty over there, and then you'll continue up to kill the battle guard, Bancris. You can skip Vesidius, you kill the princess, and you'll end up over here with the twin emperors. So now we're headed off to Black Temple for two more battle pets. Now the third badass pet is a Leviathan Hatchling, who has a 21% chance to drop, and he looks pretty cool. And we also have the badass known as Abyssius. But he only has an 11% chance to drop, so that's way on the lower end of the drop rates. So the boss that drops the Leviathan is High Warlord Nagentis. And he's also the first boss of Black Temple. And it's very easy, you know, quick little walk and you kill him. And you'll get your chance at that badass battle pit. And then we have Supremus, who is a spitting image of Abyssius. He is the second boss right after Nagentis, so that's another quick short walk and it will give you your chance for Abyssius. But unfortunately he's not dropping in this video. And the last battle pet I want to show you is in Blackwing Lair. Just in case you don't know how to get here, we're inside Black Rock Mountain. And what I'm going to do is head to this balcony, follow this pathway and show you the entrance to Blackwing Lair. Of course we're out here in the burning steps. So here's the balcony that I mentioned. Just easily fly through here. And this is the hallway that will lead you to the orb that will teleport you to the raid. Now it used to be, you know, something you had to get attuned for. But nowadays that doesn't exist anymore. You simply place your hand on the orb. Now my personal favorite, Chrominius, has a 23% chance to drop from the Black Wing Lair raid. And all you had to simply do is go through the entire raid and right before 
the final boss, you will see the beast known as Chromagius, who will give you a decent chance at getting Chrominius. And of course, there's also a spitting image of each other. And he does not drop the battle pet here, but he drops the badass Judgment Spalders, probably the coolest Paladin transmog shoulders out there. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Nefarian now, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.